No matter if you're buying your first bunker or switching to your second, the location you select is key. Hello fellow teammates and welcome back to the IN team and today we're going over all the bunker locations. There's 11 locations in total and they're all outside the city. To purchase one, all you have to do is open your phone, go to May's Bank for Closures and select bunkers to filter out all the other business types. Now we'll be starting with the bunker farthest north and working our way down which means first up is the Polito Bay Forest Bunker. This is the cheapest bunker costing a little over 1.1 million and surprisingly enough it's in the forest of Polito Bay. The trees provide some protection from wandering eyes and rival players but that shouldn't be very often as this is in an extremely under trafficked area which is the top benefit of this location. And taking a look back at May's Bank for closures, you'll see that just about everything you would need is here at the top of the map. There's two MC clubhouses, Pixel Pete's Arcade, and a facility. A few other points of interest in this area is a couple two-car garages, a six-car garage apartment, a tattoo and barber shop, Beaker's Auto Shop, and the Polito Bay MC businesses. If you like being away from most of civilization, then this is the location for you. It's the cheapest bunker and has several other businesses and points of interest nearby. But it's also the farthest north, so it's distance from the city and points of interest designated to that area, like the casino, arena, or the docks, may be an issue for some. Next, we have the Grapeseed Bunker. This bunker is priced at $1.75 million. And there's not a lot of businesses in this location. The main ones are the Wandorama Arcade and the Mount Gordo facility. But a very unique thing about the Grapeseed Bunker is that it sits right behind the Wandorama Arcade. And right behind the bunker is the McKenzie Airfield. So you get your own personal airstrip. Other points of interest is a two-car garage, a clothing store, and two MC businesses. The Grapeseed Bunker is one of the lower priced bunkers in a low traffic area and is in walking distance from the Wandorama Arcade and the McKenzie Airfield. But its distance from the city and other major points of interest could be a problem for some players. This brings us to the Rattan Canyon Bunker, which costs a little under 1.5 million. This bunker has an amazing view, but that's really the biggest perk of this location. There's not much near this bunker. It's isolated due to its position on the canyon. The closest major business is the Zancudo River facility, and even that's a little distance away. But once again, the view this bunker's location provides is beautiful. So if you love to sightsee and remain in peace and quiet, then this may be a bunker for you. But if you need something close to other major businesses or civilization, then you may want to skip this location. Next is the Lago Zancudo Bunker. This bunker will set you back slightly above 1.5 million. The unique thing about this location is that it's right next to the Fort Zancudo Air Base, which will be extremely convenient if you have a hangar there. And the Zancudo facility is also close by. But those are the only businesses in this area, so expect some travel if you need to go to other points of interest. It's a little closer to the city, but still out far enough to be in a low traffic area. It's positioned off the road right next to the ocean, and the road it's on is not connected to the highway. It actually goes under it, but you can go up this bank right here and drop onto the highway if needed. So if you have a hangar at Fort Zancudo or the facility nearby, this bunker may be the perfect location. But if your hangar is at the docks, or if you need something closer to the city, you may want to skip this location. This brings us to the cluster of bunkers in the Grand Sonora Desert, and we're going to discuss the points of interest before we get into each location, since they are shared between the five bunkers. And there's actually quite a few. There's a six-car garage, three MC clubhouses, four facilities, and an airstrip. And there's also three MC businesses in this area. And one of those MC businesses is next to a clothing store and directly across from a two-car garage. Okay, so the bunkers. Starting with the three group to the west, we have the Route 68, which costs slightly under 2 million, the Grand Sonora Oil Fields, that costs slightly over 2 million, and the Grand Sonora Desert Bunker, which also costs slightly above 2 million. And we traveled to all three to show you how close these bunkers actually are to each other. And there's not much to say about these locations. They're all decently positioned in the center of Blaine County. And like we've already shown, all of them are close to several businesses and points of interest. This is a more trafficked area, so you'll have to be on the lookout for griefers and public lobbies, but they are pretty nice bunker locations. Now there are a few things that makes a couple of these bunkers stand out from each other. The Route 68 bunker is right across the street from the six-car garage we mentioned earlier, which is pretty convenient, as that's the only six-car garage in that area. And the Grand Sonora Desert Bunker is right in front of the Sonora Desert Airfield and a couple seconds away from the Sonora Desert Facility. So Route 68, 
Grand Sonora Oil Field and Desert Bunkers are all centrally placed and close to a lot of other businesses and points of interest. The only six car garage is close by as well as the Grand Sonora Desert Airfield. However, they have a high price tag and are in a decently trafficked area. So if you like playing in public lobbies, you may want to stay away from these locations. Now we're going to go over the two bunkers located on the east part of the Sonora Desert. The Smoke Tree Road, which cost a little over $2.2 million, and the Thompson Scrapyard Bunker, which cost slightly under $2.3 million. Both of these locations are also extremely close. They share the same businesses and points of interest as the other bunkers in the Sonora Desert, but there is a couple things that make them unique. The Smoke Tree Road Bunker is across the street from the Sonora Desert Airfield, which makes it ideal for players who use planes as their main source of transportation. And the Thompson Scrapyard Bunker is right off the highway, so it has quick access to and from the city. So if you need a bunker that's easily accessible, then the Smoke Tree Road or the Thompson Scrapyard Bunker may be a good fit. But that could be a deterrent for some, as this accessibility brings more traffic to the area, and the high price tags could also be an issue. This brings us to the Farmhouse Bunker, which can be picked up for a little under $2.4 which makes this the most expensive location. This is the closest bunker to the east part of the city and the casino, which makes it an extremely attractive location. The farmhouse bunker also shares the same points of interest as the bunkers in the Grand Sonora Desert. But what makes this location unique is its access to the highway. There's actually two different paths you can take. The first one is right near the bunker, off this embankment. This lets you jump right onto the highway from the bunker. And the second is this dirt path on the left if you're already on the highway. You can follow this path all the way to the bunker. The Farmhouse Bunker is a great location if you are a regular at the casino or spend most of your time in the east part of Los Santos or Blaine County. But it's also the closest to the city and the most expensive location, which brings high traffic and popularity in public lobbies. Next is the Chumas Bunker, which can be purchased for a little under $1.7 million. This bunker is right next to the Chumas Pier and is the closest location to the west side of Los Santos, but it's still a decent distance from the city, so you won't have to worry about a lot of traffic in public lobbies. As for major businesses, you have the Zancudo facility and the hangars at the Fort Zancudo Air Base. Other points of interest are a suburban clothing store, tattoo shop, and an ammunition a few blocks down. If you spend most of your time on the west part of Los Santos, the Chumas Bunker may be a great option. It has a middle range price tag and is a second closest to the city and the Fort Zancudo Air Base and facility. But this bunker may not suit you if the majority of your businesses are on the east or south side of the city. There's a lot of really good bunker locations, but it really comes down to how far you want to be from the city and your price range. So what are you thinking? Do you like the locations farther north or prefer a more central location? Let us know what features you liked or didn't like about these locations. Tell us which bunker you ended up purchasing. And if you're switching locations, let us know what caused you to switch. And thank you all for watching. Feel free to drop a like if this helped you out. Subscribe if you're new with notifications. And we'll see you next time, teammates.